You can, yeah, someone said, oh, why don't you just bring a figsy to Thailand? You can do that, but she's not going to be going back in Australia. What happens, some people do the loophole where you bring your dog with you, but the dog cannot go from Australia to Thailand because of the rabies and that. So what you do is you take your dog to Malaysia, you put it in a kennel for six months quarantine, it's about four grand or whatever, and then it goes, you ship it to Australia, stays in quarantine for one to three months, if they deem the dog safe, it's released. If not, they put it down. Or you have to put it back to Asia. So, so someone said the other day, you know, just being figsy, like, you know, like... I think there's someone from the US. They just assume that the laws in the US are the same for everywhere, because a lot of people don't travel. Same with friends in Australia. Like, oh, it's, it's Australia, mate, you know? Like, it's how the world is, isn't it? So I travel a bit. So, so one person said, just put figsy under the seat. Like, she doesn't take up much space. And they were serious, you know? Another person said, freely you're lying, I fly dogs from California to Las Vegas for a shelter system. And it's, you can do it. She said, no, freely you are wrong. I fly dogs regularly from the shelter. Yeah, it's like, yeah, that's cool, it's in the US. It's domestic, this is international. Australia has the highest biosecurity laws on the planet. You know, Australia is the hardest country to bring things into.